right. I'm going for a massage, boy. <laughs> How's the football? Good? Harry this time. It's Harry the Hurricane. <laughs> I couldn't say it, so I just still can't say it. Yeah, I can't say Harry the Hurricane. Well, yeah, um, constantly up in the weight and everything, so just slow and steady, going in the right direction. <laughs> Seconds, come on. Yep, stop. Two, one, go. Right, here we go. Come on, ten seconds. Eight left. Come on. Wait it. Five. Come on. Three, two, one. Yep. Ah. Go on. Steady. 
Oh, wait, come on. And down. Oh, what? That shit. So I've got terminal brain cancer, but I also have dodgy knees because I am using said brain cancer against itself to raise the most amount of money ever for running a marathon. So I'm up in Scotland and I'm going to try and find out if there's a cure for my cancer and a cure for my gammy knees. So I think what the answer is, is to go to the strongest brothers on the face of the earth and ask them for advice. So lads, can you give me some advice over how I can cure my cancer and fix my gammy knees? And my number one tip would be sled pulls. Mush! Mush! Go, Husky, go! Swipe right, swipe right. Stink. Mm. Oh, I think that's a left. Swipe yeah, left. Yeah, left for that one. Oh, definitely a right. Definitely a right. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh wow! So, my left knee, ooh, it's doing so much better. But my right knee, ooh, it's not quite right. My tip for a sore right knee is arm wrestling. Left knee down, right knee up, power! Right, right knee down, left knee up. Let's go. Come, come, I need you. Come on, help me, help me. You forget how strong chemotherapy makes a man. My right knee is back to feeling all right, but my left knee, now it feels bad again. What's tip number three? Luke, what is tip number three? Hell running! <sighs> well, oh yeah, lads, my knees are doing so much better after that. Now, um, can you do me a big favor and can you sort out my, uh, my brain cancer? Can you cure that for me? Ah, come with us. Just do this. Fuck! Cancer! Oh, that's easy. Fuck! For people that don't know, you're the king of chemo. You know, where's that kind of name come from? And kind of tell people about you that, you know, we've done this video with you and we're shouting fuck cancer on top of the hill. So <laughs> yeah. Just to let people know why we're, you know, got you up here and doing all this kind of stuff. So. Uh, a while ago, I was um, doing a medical trial just for bit of cash and then um, when they were doing that they were like you've got a fucking brain tumor here and I had no symptoms so I didn't have a clue uh, that there was anything going wrong my first uh, reaction to that was like right well can I still do the trial I like I want the, <laughs> the money it, oh, I want the money <laughs> and with the way your man was talking he was trying to keep me calm because uh, I think he was expecting someone to freak out and I went like I was obviously way too calm for him and he was like no 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 you've got a serious medical condition you're not you're not going to be doing this medical trial you need to go see like a second uh, get a second scan I was like oh all right and then um yeah I went in and like it turns out that it was you know grown so that it's like all right we got to operate on this this is not a benign tumor at all and then after that they uh I, like I'd already set up like a little social media account just for, to play video games on and like just to do something for uh, that was a bit of fun with that I was like right well I now have this sort of title and I've already set up a little social media channel so I thought I'd combine the two of them together and be like let's raise some money for charity and then after my surgery they uh, they studied the brain tissue that they had uh, gotten out and they said right um <clears throat> so this is exactly what we're well, not the worst case scenario of what we predicted but it's the bad one that we predicted right and so with that, I was like, all right, well, I may as well focus like kind of heavy on the, uh, the charity stuff. And I just looked up a uh, world record for uh, raising money for charity and marathon was the first thing that popped up. And I had done marathons before. So I was just like, yeah, all right, that one. Jeez, <laughs> that was it.
uh, thing that's like my my shtick is to get yeah, yeah, get yeah. more sponsors through getting followers and then the sponsorship money goes straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. straight to the charity and it's amazing, man. seems to be working now so fucking hell i'd say i think it's amazing i think it's uh we well we lost man back in 2016 from so that's why it kind of when my protein said that you're on board, we're like, fucking hell, it's fucking amazing, yeah, of course. And to see all the work that you're doing and, you know, that we've seen firsthand, you know, how traumatic it can be and, you know, credit credit to you. It's um it's kinda Tom says, you know, autism is his superpower and you know, you're the king of chemo and that seems to be Yeah, your, yeah, yeah. Your Same thing. thing. Yeah. You've got your autism, I've got my brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I, I feel so left out. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I think, uh, especially saying I, uh, well, when I you know, first seen you, just shouting fat cancer everywhere. You know, and I think it's a massive message as well because you're not just letting it. So you know, you could lock yourself away and go. You know, I'm not going to be here forever. But you're just you're trying to inspire people and you're trying to push so, so much money for these charities, which is an amazing thing to do. And you know, when you get this world record, it's a thing that you you know you've left your legacy and it's going to be unbelievable. But yeah, it's nice that you're still just living your life and uh, enjoying it, and you're not letting this. You know, bad, 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 bad illness, disease, you know, how it kind of affected our mum. You're not letting it just affect you and you're just living your life and that's a great, great thing to do, so. Yeah, so. trying to get people out of bed. That's, yeah, that's like, yeah, it's cool when you, like, I get comments saying like, oh, you're a legend and all this sort of thing. And it's sort of like, ah, like people just say shit like that. That's kind of meaningless. But I've gotten like a, a fair few DMs of people saying like, you literally helped me get out of bed this morning. To think that someone looked at one of my videos and then went, you know, uh, I'm, I was kind of just, sitting around doing yeah, nothing yeah. but now I'm actually going to put my phone down and get out nowhere like that's fucking that's cool yeah. uh, I can't take off a jumper now it's going to take too long but like I've got a David Goggins tattoo on my yeah, arm yeah, it's yeah. exactly for that sort of Class thing one, yeah. lunatic and Goggins is a boy like oh. get out your bed now stay hard <laughs> stay Who's hard yeah. boats? that's fucking wild man that's cool. so we shout in the gym sometimes Goggins man he's, he's class but I remember I think it was maybe a year or two I can't remember what it was I seen you I was like this guy's fucking mental just running around saying fuck cancer, I'm like, fuck it, that was wild. I, I was, it was, like, really was like a, a pretty wild thing for me to see, um, especially when mum going through it. You know, mum got diagnosed initially, and she got six months to live. She managed to, like, we all did all different things for her, and she managed to be with us for three years. And like, till, oh, it was wild, man. It was like. But it's like, it's such a... What, uh, what kind of cancer did your mum have? She had breast and out into her liver, then into her bones and into her brain as well. So it just it just kind of spread kind yeah, of yeah. pretty pretty aggressively. But I mean, the I mean, we, we're fortunate we had that kind of closure with her. We were there, we were all around her and we all... She all she knew that like all her kids were okay and like, you know, that had that love. Yeah. And like, that's the thing with mum, she was, we, we say that she was our sunshine or like eternal life it's not as bright now because she's not here and and uh like that's why we try and you know do things to make us a little bit happier in life you know it's it's like you say it's getting out of bed what what inspires you to get out of bed in the morning that's what mum does for us it's nice to nice to share a wee fire with you yeah and the band and the beach of Nig Beach. Lovely beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's toasty summer weather. That is lovely. <laughs> right guys anyway start the rain I'm getting sweaty in this amazing stope and robe. And on that note, it's time to get cold. Wim Hof. Wim Hof. <laughs> we salute you. Hi, <laughs> hey, big Tommy. <laughs> 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 like here on the dunks, boy. Uh, two, three. Sweets. I'm not gonna lie, what's the point lying? Sweets. Uh, that's up shot. Oh, he's got one. 
Oh, smooth. Oh, swish. You can do it, you can do it. That's awful, mate. You're taking advantage of your fighting. Hang on, I was just playing the wrong sport. Call me fucking Luke Jordan, boy. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. That was smooth. Excellent. Yeah. 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 It's busy, um, trying to balance life with uh, travelling, doing stuff for sponsors and gym and then also having a house. It's just trying to maintain and get the right balance and stuff. I'm not really making any excuses, but yeah, life's busy, but life is good, which is the main thing. It's been a busy, as per usual, it's been a busy couple of weeks, different things going on. And to top it all off, we found out the sex of our baby. 
or the gender of her baby, whatever you call it, I don't know the right phrase to say, but we're having a little baby boy. And I am very excited. Having a, a boy as a, for the first child is pretty special. You know, mum and dad had me as their first child. Don't know how to raise a child. Don't know what I need to buy. Can't look after myself, so... Sam, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I fuck up along the way. And then we'll get our... We live in the countryside. This is the bonus of living in the countryside. This is the farm road where we used to come down as a kid all the time. Guys, that's our week now finished. It's been a busy week. We did a little filming with Ian Ward, King of Kibo, really nice guy. Thank you very much for coming up. Did some mantras, did some swims, basha, massages, more cold water stuff, training for Rogue and training for Glasgow Giants Live. Tom's been really busy in the house. It's been a really busy week, really good week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tom, what's the next video coming up? Next video is my house tour. And some surprises. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And I'm please, going to bed. don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling.